All right, so we got a bit of a hot topic here today, right? I'm a little bit boiled up here. I know some of you guys are seeing you in Twitter and then on the comments and everything with our recent review of the Razer Barracuda X. A lot of people comparing to the Steel Series Arctic One. That's what we're going to be talking about here, right? A lot of people talked about them copying Steel Series or whatever, you know what I mean? And we've been seeing a lot of that in the tech space these days. It drives me stinking nuts. And it's got me boiled up so much. I got my hat off here. I never had my hat off, but I'm going to keep it off off here and let me tell you what we see a lot of this in the keyboard space right so and so copying this copying that and that and that and this elitist and this community talk it drives me stinking nuts and please let's keep it out of the headset space leave that over there we don't need that here we don't need that in tech there's a lot of comments in my recent video there's a lot of people said steel series wants their headset back they copied Steel Series, this, that, the other. I'm not trying to defend any brand or any company here. That's not what I do. I don't review companies. I review products. People call me a razor hater. People call me a Steel Series fanboy. That's why I'm gonna wear a HyperX T-shirt right here. But I really don't think either of them copied each other at all. You know, like where do you draw the stinking line? So number one, let's go ahead and dive into the style the build and the comfort of these headsets. So looking at them right here, as you can see, well, first off, they're quite different, right? Now, swivel, full swivel on a Steel Series, ear cups in and out. Razor, full swivel, ear cups in and out right there, right? When we look at them this way, this is where you start seeing some similarities, right? The Steel Series, you have those nice cloth ear cushions, pleather lined inside, little design in there showing this is the Xbox version, nice, soft and plush, kind of memory foamish right there. Coming over to the Razor, again, sports material, pleather liner on the inside, very soft and plush. Not as memory foamy as the Steel Series, more or less like soft pillowy. And when you take that and combine that, talking about the comfort and ear cushions of these, the Steel Series ones definitely sink in a little bit more when the Razer ones kind of hold their position. So for me at least, my ears touch the driver of the Steel Series ones. They do not on the Razer right here. Now coming up to the headband, as you see, both of them are pleather. The Razer one does wrap all the way around just about right here. The Steel Series is just at the top, but both of them nice and plush and they do hold their position. As far as adjustments on the arm, Steel Series out. And as you can see, it's metal reinforced, holds its position really, really nice. On the Razer, same deal, metal right there, and it holds its clicks and its positions very nice. Now, when we talk about build of these headsets, as you can see, they're both pretty much completely plastic minus the metal reinforced headband there. They are both incredibly lightweight. We'll go ahead and pull out the scale here and put them both on it just to see if there is any difference. So let's close that up. This is without the mic, by the way. Art this one. We're getting 258 grams right here or 256. Let's go on and get the Black Sharks, not the Black Sharks, the Barracudas on here. Two fit, wait a second. So 256, what did we just have on the Arctic one? 256. Oh dear, they even copied them with the weight. So now as far as that build and durability, again, they're both pretty much all plastic. Whenever I stretch the Barracudas out, I get that little separation right on the hinge. If you saw my main review right there, but again, all that swivel and everything, I don't get worried about them at all. On the Steel Series, same thing, but as you see, the Steel Series headband's a little firmer. So when I bend it out, it starts bowing out here. I mean, I don't get worried about it. I don't think anyone's gonna be stretching it out that far. But again, the headband plastic is a little firmer than on the Barracuda over here. But when we take both headsets, slap them onto our heads here, as far as that comfort, again, the Arctis ones, have a little bit tighter clamping force, not much, not much, not uncomfortable by any means, but I put this right at a medium clamping force right there. And with the combination of those memory foam ear cushions and the clamping force, my ears touch the drivers. It's not hurting my ears, it's not pinching my ears, but yes, I do feel them against that plastic there. Still incredibly stinking cozy. Now we take the Barracuda X, definitely more on that line of medium to light, right? So we got these at medium, Barracuda X right down here at medium to light right here. And with the ear cushions not being so much memory foam, more or less like a pillow uh, padding type deal, my ears are not touching the drivers one bit. And I honestly, both of them, again, stinking cozy for sure. But as crazy as it sounds, the Barracuda X take the win for comfort in my book. All right, so now let's go to look at features and functions on both headsets. Over here, we have this, the uh, Razer Barracuda X. Over here, SteelSeries Arctis 1. Back left ear cup, mic mute on the Razer, mic mute is a switch on the Steel Series. Volume wheel bottoms out on both of them, 
and tops out on the highest on both of them right here, both volume wheels. Then over here, you have the power button on the Barracuda X. On the Steel Series, it's on the back of the other ear cushion, separate from all the other buttons right over there. All right, so you have your 3.5 port if you want to run 3.5. Same on the Steel Series, which you can run 3.5 or a share port right there. You charge by micro on the Steel Series, USB C on the Razer. And then up here, you have both your mic ports for your detachable microphones. So as far as features and functions, yeah, pretty much the exact same. One difference, whenever you mute the microphone on a Steel Series by flipping that switch, you're gonna get a tone in the ear. On the Razer, you do not. You just press your button and that is it. And then of course the charge and USB-C and then micro, if that matters to you right there. But as far as your cables and connections, again, 3.5 for the Steel Series, 3.5 for the Razer, which you can run like that on both of them. Again, your charge port, I got them mixed up here. You get your micro on a steel series and your USB-C on the Razer. And then you also get your extender for both of them. So you can plug it into regular USB-A and then into your adapter on a steel series and the Razer. This is what separates them right here, the dongle. So over here, we have the steel series. Over here, we have the Razer. So as you can see, the Razer one is much smaller than the steel series, but what really separates them if you look right here, right? So you're seeing a steel series, you have a notch for USB, and then you can flick it over and turn it into Xbox. This is only on the Xbox version one here, which I'm showing you, because I don't, I, even in my main review, I said, get the Xbox, not the regular one, right? Because the cool thing about the Arctis One Xbox version with that switch, it'll work wirelessly on every single platform. PS5, Series X, Xbox One, PS4, PC, Mac, mobile, it works on everything. Why doesn't every headset do this? Why doesn't it? You know, with that little switch, again, it works on everything. Unfortunately, on the Barracuda X, it's just gonna be PS4, PC, Mac, mobile. No Xbox here, you have to run 3.5 for Xbox. If you watched my review, the 3.5 audio on us is still fantastic, but again, I mean, we gotta give the win to the Steel Series here, being able to work on every single device, Easy win, that is stinking awesome. So how about sound, right? Both of these guys are using 40 millimeter drivers, but the Barracuda X is using Razer Triforce 40 millimeter drivers. Triforce, as you've seen in the Black Sharks and many other Razer headsets where uses 50 millimeter ones, these guys are using the 40 and talking Triforce is letting everything really kind of perform on its own. The treble, the mids, and the highs. Over here on the uh, Steel Series, just using standard 40 millimeter drivers, both of them with the frequency range of 20 to 20, like we see in a lot of gaming headsets. But again, the Triforce drivers really shine. Again, on the Black Sharks or anything, even same right here, even though they are a little bit smaller. That's not saying the sound is bad on the Steel Series. The sound is awesome, it's really crisp. You even can pull it out a little bit more when you get into Steel Series engine and really dial your EQ. You can really dabble your EQ and save it right there to your dongle. With the Barracuda X, you don't have control of Synapse or any EQ. It's out of the box what you're gonna get. And out of the box what you get is fantastic, as I stated in my standalone review. The detail, the bass, the mids, it's just a great natural balanced sound, kind of more or less like a pair of headphones than a gaming headset. Out of the box with the Steel Series, you get a little bit more of that gaming headset sound, but when you dabble into the EQ, you really pull it out. It really is. But both headsets are fantastic for first person shooters. Me playing a lot of Rainbow Six, you hear the shuffling of uniforms, the footsteps, the gunshots, whatever's going around you. A story game like Assassin's Creed. Great environmental sound, right? You hear your enemies, the voice. Everything's just crispy and detailed, even with racing games. they both Again, both headsets shine fantastic in any game situation, you know? All right, so we are now using a microphone on a SteelSeries Arctics 1 wireless Xbox version. Again, plugged right into USB-C right here, and then we got the device flipped over to USB. This is what the microphone sounds like. Again, it's detachable, moldable, mute button right on the back. We'll see if we get any noise when we mute it. That's me hitting that mute button right back there, and it's pretty cool because you do get that tone in there. Now, just so you know, again, I got the laptop running. I got a fan running there, fan running in the light, AC running. We'll see if we get any background noise. Okay, so on my graph, it seems like it's picking up quite a bit. Again, I got that fan running right at me, so if that's what we're hearing, that's what it's going to be right there as far as picking up in the graph. But all in all, SteelSeries Arctis One Wireless, 
microphone test right here. Let's go and fire up the Barracuda X. Okay, so we are now using the microphone on the Razer Barracuda X right here. Again, plugged right into USB-C, fired up on OBS, same volume settings. I didn't tweak anything or go into any software and dabble with anything. Exact same. Again, detachable microphone, a little bit bigger, and you do get the windscreen on it, so that's what we're going to test it like. Our mute button's right on the back. We'll see if we get any noise from that. Looks like we do get some noise from that. Let's see if we get any of that background noise. Again, you know my environment, exact same still, so I'm going to be quiet and see what we get. Wow. Okay, so we're going to hear this back together, but right now on my graph, I wasn't getting any reading as far as the uh, level right there. So we're going to have to see when we play it back because we're getting a bunch on the Steel Series. But again, we're going to test this together. So all in all, microphone test, Razer Barracuda X. Okay, so wrapping up our comparison right there, like I've stated through that the whole video, both of these headsets are stinking awesome. Both of them have their pros in different areas, you know what I mean? But as far as like the core of this video that really boils me is calling them a copy, you know? Like, like as far as the design, like just looking at them here, they both look completely different. They both got their brands on the outside kind of flashing right there, you know what I mean? If there's anything that the Razer copied, it's their Opus. Is that what these are called, right? The Opus design. They're just a little bit bigger than those. So as far as design, heck, even just about build, it's that right there, you know what I mean? So what are we saying they copied? Cloth ear pads? Like, how's that a copy? USB-C? Like, is... I just... I, I... I just... I... I... Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Please! Don't bring that elitist, just snooty, kind of closed-in community atmosphere to gaming headsets. It hurts. I don't want to see that here. I don't want to see that here because that is just... <sighs> Anyways, guys, let me calm down. Let me know what you think. Do you think Razer copied SteelSeries or any of these other brands with all this other stuff that comes out, headsets or whatever? Do you think they're copying other brands? Like, we're in tech, right? I'm sure we all get good ideas, um, different brands from other companies kind of build on that and go from there. The Logitech G335 we just covered with the headband ski style. Is that copying the Arctic 3s, 5s, 7s, Pros? You catch me? Like, we, we can't we can't do that. You know, tech builds, I believe it builds off each other's, whether it be phones and stuff, specs of phones, cars, everything, right? That's just the world of tech. We don't got to come in here and start hating and Gosh, I'm out of here. I gotta I got, I got, I got end this, guys. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Let me know your opinions down below. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to help you out. If I was, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.